Nayan. This is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip Nayan. So our topic for today is all about the geometric sequence, the basic concept of geometric sequence. So we have three objectives here. So first, we will differentiate what is the arithmetic sequence, differentiate, differentiate siya sa geometric sequence. And number two, no, we will uh, illustrate what is geometric sequence. And number three, we will find the common ratio of the geometric sequence. So, tara. So how do we differentiate geometric sequence? from the arithmetic sequence. So, for example, I have a sequence uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. So, this is an example of arithmetic sequence. Why? Because, may kita natin, no? Kapag kau ay arithmetic sequence, nag-add ka rito, no? Na ating common difference. So, kapag 3, naging 6, Nag-add ka ng 3, ganun din na 6, naging 9, nag-add ka ng 3, and 9, 12, nag-add ka ng 3. Nakikita nyo rito, nag-minus tayo ng 12, minus 9 is 3, no? 9 minus 6 is 3, 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3 is 3. So, ngayon, no, ito ay example of arithmetic sequence. So, tingnan man natin yung itong sequence na to, no? 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on. So, kung arithmetic sequence siya, no? Ima-minus natin to. Itong mga to. So, kailangan may makuha tayong common difference. So, kapag minus natin to, 81 minus 27 is 54. Then, 27 minus 9 is 18. No? So, nakikita natin, no? 27 minus 9 is 18, di ba? And then, 9 minus 3 is 6. So, may kita natin, no, na wala siyang common difference. So, hindi siya common difference. So, ibig sabihin, this sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. This is a geometric sequence. Pag geometric sequence naman siya, no, it has a common ratio. Parang, parang kung sinabi common ratio, no, 81 divide 27 is 3. No, 27 divide 9 is 3. And 9 divide 3 is 3. So, we have here na tinatawag tayong common ratio kapag siya ay geometric sequence. So, meaning ang geometric sequence we can define as is a sequence where every term up to the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by constant called common ratio. Let's go to this example. No? So, 4, negative 20, 100, negative 500, and so on. So, is this an example of geometric sequence? So, tatry natin, no? If it is has a common ratio, sabi daw, kapag namumultiply yung, yung preceding term sa next term, ng pare-parehas, common ratio, no? So, it is a geometric sequence. So, first, no? Tingnan natin. I-divide muna natin. No? Pag dinivide natin itong mga to, so, negative 500, so, negative 500 divide 100 is equivalent to negative 5. So, negative 5 to. So, ganun din, no? 100 divide negative 20. So, siya ay negative 5. So, negative 5 siya. Para siyang may common ratio. So, tingnan pa natin din isa, no? So, negative 20 divide 4. So, ito ay negative 5. So, meaning... This sequence is geometric sequence which has a ratio of negative 5. So, kapag papunta ka naman dito sa left, <coughs> i-divide mo, negative 5. Kapag papunta naman sa kanan, no? para nag-multiply ka. So, 4, 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 5 is positive 100. 100 times negative 5 is negative 500. 10 so on. So, this is an example of geometric sequence. So, look at this example, no? So, determine if the given sequence is geometric or not. And if it is a geometric sequence, no? Find the common ratio. ratio. So, tingnan natin itong number 1. So, kung may kita natin, no? So, itong term number 5. 81 divide natin sa term number 4. So, 81 divide 27 is 3, No? Pag dinibide natin to, So, pag dinibide din naman natin to, 27 divide 9, this is 3. 
Ngayon, 9 divide 3 is 3 and then 3 divide 1. Yan ay 3. So, ibig sabihin, this is a geometric sequence. The common ratio is 3. Example, no? So, 20 divide 16 is 5. Lowest term natin, no? So, 5 over 4. And then, 16 divide 12 is 4 over 3. Then, 12 divide 8, no? This is 3 over 2. And then, 8 divide 4 is 2. So, ano napapansin nyo, no? It has no common ratio. Wala siyang common ratio. So, ibig sabihin, hindi magkakaparehas. Hindi siya common, no? So, ibig sabihin, this sequence is not geometric sequence. So, another example, no? So, 1 over 5 equals 1 over 5. So, 1 over 5 siya. Then, 5 over 25 siya ay 1 over 5 then, no? And then, itong 25 over 125, so ito ay 1 over 5, then 125, 625, 1 over 5. So, ibig sabihin, geometric, ang common ratio is 1 over 5. Dito naman, no? So, negative 62 over 54. So, yan ay negative 3. So, ito ay negative 3. So, ito rin, no? 54 divide negative 18 is negative 3. Then, negative 18, 6, negative 3. And, 6 and negative 2 ay negative 3. So, geometric, ang common ratio niya is negative 3. Last example tayo, no? So, 5, 10, 4, so, negative 2, negative 8, and negative 14. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? Ganun ulit. So, negative 14. Negative 14 divided negative 8 is positive 7 over 4. So, 7 over 4. And then, negative 8, negative 2 is positive 4. No? So, positive 4 siya. And then, negative 2 four and over 4 is negative 1 half. And then, ganun din, no? 4 divided 10 is 2 over 5 and 10 divided 5 is 2. So, siya ay hindi geometric sequence. So, wala siyang common ratio. So, that's all, no? So, sana may natutunan kayo. And then, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, no? Pakipindo na rin yung notification bell para naman lagi kang updated sa mga videos ko, no? So, that's all, no? Good luck, soldier!